around the entire site with ease. It's a wonderful combination with Viper and Brimstone. The combination can do so much work, and as I talk about it though, Nuki falls, usually the X Factor on the side of G2. That's still not done. They still hardly have taken any room, any territory that belongs to Riggs to properly open up the side. And as I say that though, Mixwell falls. That's the swing. This is basically the new sky once we're showing you why it's a duelist. And obviously, Wova shooing why he's nothing else than an excellent duelist. Just with a brimstone. Makes it work. Free women, obviously, but it's still something that supports. Let's say it's, it very much supports the post plant lineup scenario we had throughout the previous challengers. I still say it, I still say it definitely had the tendency to go in that direction, but getting away from that, Nikki most likely won't stand too much of a chance. Well, he's still trying to spray through. One more to come. That is late tax. No, don't. That's something that seems to be worrying, my goodness, he's just pushing into the little pot! But oh, Latex oh. finds a triple with ease, obviously, it is once more the orbital to strike, working according to plan. Probably there's a bit of Hunter's Fury here and there, but, well, not too much happening with that. Latex just taking his head off by that. Nuki perfectly using the angle that the smoke has provided, and so once more, they might have just taken the ground, they might have just taken the territory, but it doesn't change the matter of fact. And it's not theirs yet. The Defender Killjoy comes in. Obviously, this is where Sova is once more so useful. No lockdown for you. And that's perfectly plain. I mean, they use it just in time, just when needed. No overuse at all. They don't try to overpower them in that sense. Just absolutely played by the book. And you have to say, it's wonderful to watch. Kellogg's looking for the last one. Getting that 4.7k away from Luzzer. Works perfect. Yeah. It seems like he has a slide one way. If it works, it seemingly does. The Molly comes down to the site though, but a Vova is gonna be denied initially. Fry comes in from bathroom. Nobody expected him there. Spike still needs to be planted. That is finally happening. Yes indeed, but maybe it's just death match for Nuki. It's going on and on. The final operator in place. Luzzer shouldn't stand a chance, and most definitely coming in. The weapon are really nice and great, but when there's when we're talking about a Viper's pit, maybe they can't capitalize on it. Or maybe I'm just gonna eat my own words. Nope. Well, the Manta knows how to counter. It's working fine, it's working dandy, it's working good, it's a Fry pushing through, who finds an Avova at least! But the spike was still in time, and Luzzer, his blades have not been that sharp so far, makes a move towards Slams, finally gets over that, and this could be just his clutch. He moves around, swings, pretty much like tarts him through the sky, and as he still tries to make a move here, He's going closer to the Viper's pit, over on the edge, he plays it, he saw the barrel, he can dodge it once more, he's going back in it, he doesn't even care, the poison doesn't hurt him, but Kellogg's most Go for a short, so, a little bit, a little bit awkward, but they felt confident, I guess, oh my god, what a play by Autumn. Proper stuff. That, that, that is the aggression I mean, Rix really has a playstyle where it can be absolutely passive or changed around in the sense that every single space you give him, they're just gonna abuse it. Latex in the meantime is not going to be a fan of that, well, specifically as Nuki on the other side is usually the one who's getting absolutely crazy. Luzzer once more whiffs a shot, it's so unfortunate right now. You usually rely on some of his performances, but his operator doesn't seem to be on point that much right now, especially as he's forced away, but obviously Dash is going to help! No way! He's actually blind and goes back in it! Annoying again, why should I peek? Kellux is telling him, there's no reason, mate. I'm just gonna stay there, gonna be annoying, I'm back again. This is the worst scenario you can get yourself in because nobody's showing. You don't even get those fights. Talking about one though, still on B when Kildra's on A garden with the Sova. And again, they lose the first blood and it's the operator player. That's the defense line that was so much needed. They yeah. use the Seekers to just try to push <gasps> off into again. No! Oh, oh my. He can't escape? He can't escape! This is so crazy to think about the way he's just making his movement work. You looked and saw that this Sova ult is so powerful. They were having them line up trapped in the corridor, but Kellogg's come in again. Those matches were... Well, when it goes off, it goes well, right? Because they don't really have many obstacles to bail the executes in. But here, there's the judge! And the judge, even when nerfed, remember, it might be price here, but when it comes to 10, 10 meters range, it's still <laughs> the old judge that we had before. It's a very lethal machine up close. I just, I just waiting for the first time you're going to mention the Bucky, but I think it's not even going to pop up at this point, Lothar. The two at the, same, at the same time getting obliterated. And this is the classic curse of the final rounds. In every FPS I've ever cast, the final round of the half is hugely turning around in some way. And, well, it's Rix at least getting in somewhat of a right direction. It's 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 really wonderful to see that they still get that second. Defender kills are not being put in. It's pretty much 
the nail in the coffin at that point in time. But it speaks while we're talking about. Oh, uh, three seconds to come around. <laughs> this pisses around. Oh, they boy. open up with a lot of damage on the Volva. I wonder if they have a sky. Uh, they they have a heal on the killer. Taken out. Oh, and an opening on Nuki. Okay, that's 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 something that they need. They need yep. that mental fortitude now when they have the first blood. <gasps> oh, oh, this is nasty. Oh man, this is nasty as hell. But at least it's gonna be Mixwell getting some rabies in this. Nevertheless, Cold Menta falls. Rix is still having a man advantage on it, and it could be finally a pistol they obtain. It was a big issue already previously. When we saw them fight the guys of Ascent, but finally they might just be on the right track. A Boba doesn't stand a chance. Kalox, the young gun, now needs to make the change. He has been spotted, though. Most definitely, it should be his end. But as I say that, never say never. We have learned that in the past, Kalox starts off good. 75 points of health still make it somewhat possible. And he now needs to take them one by one. It gets you know, not like it's a secret or anything. At the end of the day, he's still getting a lot of attention from him. And whoa! As he tried his best to escape, Nah, -uh, not with Nuki. Still entering the B site. And as they hop over out of balcony, more likely out of Fuka, that's the right way around. It's still possible. It's still possible for them to obtain the control and hold it, but at the same time, it's Nuki going on. The man is once more not to be stopped. And as Mixwell joins, the rifles prevail. And this is at least what it seems like. Two more remain. Well, the opposition is too strong. G2 keep on fighting to the max, as though they have wounded players. A defuse needs to come in. They have nothing else than that little... Thing. Sorry, I think the nanos one coming in. Nope, it's still not happening. Avova is going to pull it through. And most likely, he won't even die in the process. That's uh, that's an absolutely vital flank. And he has, he has all the information. Just waiting for Mickey. He finds him. Oh, and this is all the information. And not only that, the dog tax he's collecting, finding kills left, right, and center, as Nuki is trying his best with the Phantom. At least Otom's out of the equation. But it should be no universe where this is successful for the side of Riggs. Just go defuse. Man's far away. Just go defuse. They know who he is. They're gonna get that operator from his hands at some point, I, know, I guess, right? Ah, uh, gain control. The side is already there. Slaytax obviously knows that some people just might come around the corner anytime soon. They trade at least. Spike Don't need the A. ult when the round is already, or more likely the game is already done. And it could be just all the control that obtained to now by G2. Kalox is on it again. Man advantage there. And G2 allowed Kalox to get a kill. Right, they support him in that way that he gets two frags with 13 points of health. It's wild. It's crazy. But Kalox can just move away. Way back towards the middle. They pretty much swap positions. And he's still staying present. Spikes go going down though, over on the A side. 30 seconds. Will they go to B? No, they actually put on CT. It's interesting because the Seekers could actually get a fake and make a bluff for Riggs that both players are on A short when one was still on B because that was the shortest way for the player to go, like with the Seeker. But oh. now the retake coming in and pass and move. They don't have him on the radar, do they? Not necessarily. Oh, no, they do. No, they do. Oh, this is so unfortunate for Mixwell. He was sneaking all around. And Kalos got to perform something could come close to a miracle. No universe there he's getting that. I'd, I'd be absolutely in shock if he finds anything here. Still would have a flash to make a move. Is he going to use it? Oh, they saw the barrel. No chance. The firing squad is just... As it jumps on side. Space oh, is No way! By the lockdown button. No, the Volva gets loser. The, the thing is, he was still in his little tablet. He was just looking yeah. for his apps. What's the weather tomorrow? But still, the man finds Frax even then. And this is absolute disaster. Kellox got them pincer back in the corner, moves away, pressure's on him. They can't easily move that far back, but they do. This is this is horrible. This is really, really sad. And they will never expect him to be that close. I would say they do actually taking it back. Mickey's on it. Got him on his personal radar. But yet again, where to go and what to do. Ricks are not 100% sure what's the direction. They do have the Hunter's Fury, so they can use it to clear up some space left. on the side, mm. especially when it comes to like uh, small corridors, right? So checking uh, checking elbow here with Hunter's Fury would be nice, uh -oh. unless they want to play it for the oh. postman. But they can, can they there afford it now? 
Nope. He uh, cannot. And look at that. I mean, he's just backing off again. He's just once more being patient, waiting for his teammates, and just holds the angle. Unfortunate timing for Avova, though. So Kellogg's and his boy gotta make the work. As Nuki is the perfect fragger for such a scenario. This is valuable information gained. He's just going around, even when he's being spotted. But Miki's on okay. it. They want the number six. Most definitely they do. Nuki's still on it. Can't do oh, it. the game from that. Again on his own. Do they work off of that is the question. That's going to be coming the old, at least that's working to some degree. Yeah, it seems to be that they can capitalize on that brilliantly. They got the counter. Call the Menta knows where Mickey's around, and so they choose the teleporter indeed. They all realize that any second, the G2 side of things only got one man waiting over there. That's Avova, got the smoke already ready. Gonna pop the molly indeed, but it's not going to do too much, does it? Nope, it's only dealing slight bits of damage. They're on it. And the comeback on the side of Rix, it seems like they're already smelling that it might be close. But victory has not been gained yet. It would be another time to prevail against a strong unit called G2. As there's the swing from Abova coming in time. One more remains. Lazar is on it and he might just clutch it for his team. It would be the number eight. And a ticket to overtime is once oh! more secured. This is a, like, you think that might not follow you? Like, you don't know where the jet is, right? So this this is a little bit awkward. That gun could have been saved and could build up a little bit of the economy, especially in the... Once our retrieve such situations, Novova's taking a very aggressive stance. Goodness gracious, he makes it even work against Ota, but now he spots it. Obviously, an easy one for Luzzer. They just go full-on aggressive. Is this deathmatch or actually a competitive game? I'm not so sure anymore. Well, it comes down 3-3, three to three, so Riggs G is coming on top of those exchanges. Being in an attacker on the same amount of, uh, you know, opponents, it just opens up the map. The thing is, they know about the Viper ult. I don't think they've seen it yet, but if that info will be... Oh, okay, it's still in the showers, it's still active. That means that Mix is there. It's gonna be gone, though. If, if he stays at that position, it's gonna be gone. Oh, He's making the move. So well oh, played, no but way! He doesn't get the kill! Just millimeters away from getting Luzzer! It was close, but not close enough. Man got a new haircut, but he's still not down on the ground. And that's just the worst feeling ever. If you could have nearly saved this one. Nevertheless, all possible. It's all just possible for the side of, of Coldamenta and Co. As they still have a good situation up in their hands. It is nothing else than a wonderful and amazing free versus free. Next one goes on, surely the ability should make it turn around, and as I say that, Goldamenta started it, and, and finally it lately, as though the Sova Dart is coming in, that is the heal for me. And now the retake's on, well, it seems low for like we got ourselves a fast forward in round number one, and so they are all just hiding behind that Viper wall, once in a while they'll definitely explode, Mixwell's Swell's gonna come in with the first, but Mickey Boy's not expected, Kellogg's still got the right kind of antidote for that, this leads to one small route that could work. Riggs have planted in a way that they can't just wait out for late tax. A bit of too much of his body being shown. The man's still on it, but no chance for Nuki. They're gonna go for the defuse. Nope, not even happening. I'm taking that one back. Avova tries his best, but there's not gonna be an opportunity, is there? Fans are swinging, finding nothing. Otom with the triple. Mid for taking for spawn is gonna be so awkward for G2. And this is why they have to play defensively on sides. This is where this first running back being used in round three, but the Kellogg's destroys it. And now we'll be holding Oh my side. goodness. That's Kellogg's for you. Fight Nuki joins down, in, and while well, it seems like the double duelist party just goes on, the hammer for the night. It takes no chance, but. Well, it's the start of. Super fast. Clear. Rain's trying to get control of that wall. Wow, they actually get a kill through the wall. Absolutely. I mean, th that's the way it is. And look at that aggression. I mean, this is exactly the way you want to see them with double duelist. We, I think we both agree here. Go for that in the Viper pretty soon. Again, no way. Kellogg's not with it this time around. At least Otom's on it. Double secure. Shadow's in there. Again, uh, it's a B site that belongs to them. And, and this is where I start to get worried here, Lofar, is if, if, if the entire game plan, which I don't believe, is based off pure attacks by G2, you know, re establishing the borders. I don't believe that. This this can't work out in the long run over on their defense, but we're going to find out, right? This is the, this is the great part about this game. Finding out puts that Nano Swarm behind second. It's going to pop off. Nothing found, though. Obviously, it's planted. Four, nothing else in the window back there. And so, Otom and Co. most likely will prevail. Latex still swings wide. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. It needs to be one hell of a miracle if they actually make it possible. Still not hitting the shots here, Kellogg's. He's definitely going to leave the site. At least, from a in hand. 
What a good round by Rickstrich. But Kellogg's now with the Operator. He gets the first contact and he gets flashed. Oh, hey, there you go. Kellogg's on. Wait, what a refrack. Otom's on it. And, well, you gotta deny those annoying seekers. So, Havova gotta back off once more, but they still capitalize on it. That's crazy. Otom. His ult has been denied. Right now, Mixwell knows about light attacks. But it's just about milliseconds and millimeters that he starts to fall short in this duel. Nova still ready to keep on fighting. And as we see right here, Avova's on it. It's coming more and more, and Yuki is just waiting, and he's gonna continue to pull through. Oh, this could work for Rex, though. It's Mixwell whiffing, and this leads to a 5 HP Avova. No chance for him at all. Two versus one. Is a miracle happening here? Is no that a miracle happening here? Nah, no, he no, picks no. up the upper and goes, nah, nah, there's no miracle here. I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Slide, I respect that. Slide. Them out of the out of the range of this fight. Looking like a disaster coming in, in the way of G2. Seems like Not that the... is the case. Three versus three. Still out of time. Yeah, but... Still, nevertheless, I mean, it, it doesn't feel like that's going to work that easily with all the lineups they have. And this is the disgusting part about this map, right? You, you can't just play it so great from the cave. You simply have no chance. Above a try. What a kill! They know that the Vipers are not going to do much because there's already Riggs G executing on A. There you go. That's exactly what you're looking for. That's exactly what you are looking for. Go Spike. right there and Mickey's trying his best but all well, the mid control is something they feel slightly hindered in at least right this second as you notice though Spike that G2 is mid. back on it Spike delivered on a silver platter called the Mentor getting absolutely hammered in that goddamn box well you know plywood is not a great piece of cover but it doesn't change the matter of fact I that Kellogg's exactly is still on it <sighs> info though Looking not that bad for Riggs G actually now. They turned they turned the chances towards them. Avova is gonna now have to clutch it. One D wheels and he gets two! Spike down B. 30 oh. seconds left. That was worth in gold. <laughs> yeah, you say it that low for it. Take a look at it. Latex being the only man left alive in this fight. And let's say he has chosen. Some of the worst opponents to fight against. And worst, I don't mean that those are the worst. No, the worst to fight against. Look, okay, easily beheading him. And the third round found. High cost is an absolute beast as a jet, but today is just not his day. Oh my, that, that was really... I don't need those heart attacks so far. I mean, we have seen from Scream a dash forward like this already, and it wasn't a success as well. Nuki no, gets a headshot, gets a dismiss. To safety, but he's pinned a little bit. At least he thinks so. Right. Oh, still, he plays just off the angle of the pyramid. Obviously, slight bit of his head, but not too much seen at that point. And it's 30 seconds. You see, they don't have much map control. Besides not having the spike, actually, oh. just making it worse. Obviously, Nuki's accuracy is once more on point. But Fry's patience pays off perfectly. Man could clutch it all on his own, but too many foes are just waiting around the corner. He's giving his best, he's trying his best, but the wall's coming up. No vision, no opportunities. It should be number four at this point in time. It very much is. They're all moving all over to the side of B. And Nuki obviously is once more the tool that holds them up. Swap sides, Luz are just around the corner, does not hit the shot. Nothing's connecting for Ricks ever since we saw that timeout come in. It's absolute sadness and it's a disaster. Really, it is a disaster. They are absolute teams like Nuki <gasps> might just play around oh, the, the pillar timing. at the right exactly timing. Oh, this is so awkward. Still, they get a lot of information. Nuki again with the timing. The man definitely needs to buy himself a watch for Christmas. But at the end of the day, it's his teammates. He can pretty much clean and sweep the site. Last Only to standing. remain insult to injury. Luzer, the last man standing. I just want to see a the attack. Fast A push, will that be the pretty standard of that almost everyone does? Well, that's a different story, my dear Lofar. At the moment, it looks like Ricks are just absolutely getting beheaded. <laughs> it's, a, 
it's unfortunate to watch. As still, still they try to buffet this. It's 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 not looking good. And Litex Insular to his teammate could try to slam this one out, but just him being pulverized in the meantime. It's laser-like accuracy. It, it's it's I'm 100 percent sure it's not fun to play against him. It can never be fun to play against him. Yeah, this guy is super consistent. It, it, it's kind of like a. You know, he kind of reminds me of Zippen as well. Even one point of damage within two seconds, someone dies, and you, you get that orb off. You can heal, you can. Oh, you cannot dismiss. But in this case, <laughs> Mickey pays the price of Volvo wins that duel. And it's still very awkward, but now. So good movement! Oh my goodness, that was solid. Fry was actually coming in when needed. There's a chance for them to actually snowball if they manage to win the next round, but it opens up with Nuki getting a kill on Autumn. Yep, and there we go. It's it's just getting wilder and wilder at that point. Breaks GG already losing two in the process of just in a matter of a few seconds. And that's a way to pretty much get yourself the A site. Locked it down. Spike planted. No access and it's once more also that thought process. Do you actually want to do it? Do you want to consider it with the weaponry you have? Kallax just starts to one tap. Oh, Lothar. It's it's really unfortunate for Rix. It's still not done. Don't get me wrong. But from bad to worse in some scenarios. And this team has already been hit quite hard today. You know, Gives away too much map control, okay, but yep. again, talking about it again. There you go, and it's still an opportunity for Rix because, well, you find the oh shots my. the way Fry does. Brilliant stuff coming out of them. But Mickey, it's all just gone. G2 only down to four, and they're coming over though on the A side with ease. There's the five to spin. Oh, that's gonna be such a problem for uh, for Rix G2. Just push them out of it. They have no killjoy, right? Ultimate, which is the best answer to a Viper's Pit. But they do have Autumn with that running back. Problem is, he needs to get really close to this ult to have full effect on it. So he has to like, be behind those boxes there on the backside. Will you allow that? I don't think so. Nah, There's yeah. a recon arrow. Yeah, and I don't feel that either. I mean, Otom's trying his best, but immediately eliminated. It's still going on. The G2 show doesn't stop. The Circus will never stop. And as Mixwell takes the flank, Again and again, the brutality of G2. Kellogg's pushed into spawn, made Frey just so uncomfortable that he couldn't stand on bridge. He couldn't stand in, 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 in the same spot in holes because he was... said correctly. It's, it's not a long time, but that synergy, that, that energy that they show, also if you watch the videos with the voice communication, it's insane. And talking about insane shots like that, obviously they come from Nuki. Now they just get greedy. Now they just get a little too witty. And this is brilliant stuff. Sees a bit of defeat, late tax, knees broken, and also falling down on the ground. It's not going to be working, really. I don't see it happening. There, sh there must be a one-of-a-kind play. And as I say, it just gets worse. Now it's even colder men to coming in with his ult at that point in time. And as Mickey tries his best, pushes through, he's at least blinding Kellogg's, but the turret is even getting him. The worst kind of humiliation. And Lazar now can show us what he can do in combination with Autumn. The time's definitely playing against them. And there's more to come. The opponents are just waiting and having all the right angles. It's just the... Uh,